And the prize ultimately is the Wild Side TV title. It is a World TV title. We're certainly very proud to say so. Good to have the uh, Italian monster Tony Mameluk back with us. Uh, he's back from that knee injury he suffered in a matchup with Caprice Coleman in that best of five World Television Championship Series in which he almost won the World Television title and gained the respect of wrestling fans all throughout the wild side. It certainly did. I mean, we saw Tony Mameluk pretty much cheered by virtually everybody here. You know, I, don't, I don't know if that camera is actually picking up what's going on here, but Walking down the aisle, walking down the aisle here is, is Terry Knight. Terry Knight, former NWA national champion, former US champion as well, holding up a chair at ringside and watching this first round matchup in the TV title tournament. Well, he's a man that's got some history with Mama Luke, but um, yeah, but he, he doesn't really seem to be interested in Mama Luke. He's, he's watching the match and I don't really understand it. Although I do know that uh, Terry Knight was not exactly on the end of many winning matches in his uh, previous tenure here in the wild side there towards the later run of it anyway. He's a former champion, very decorated in many, many accounts, but uh, in later years, Terry Knight just, just wasn't doing much. He couldn't find his niche, and he had a terrible losing streak. Maybe he's trying to pick up some pointers. Hang on a second. Let's put talk about Terry Knight. We're talking about two of the, the brightest champions, so champions to be perhaps, in wild side. Right now, look in the ring, Todd Sexton and Tony Mamaluke. Tony Mamaluke, like I said, back in action. Very close to winning the World Television Championship. There's that shot of Terry Knight again. Side headlock. Side headlock takeover there by Todd Sexton. Todd Sexton has improved his mat wrestling game, but is probably not going to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe on the mat with Tony Mamaluke. Sexton is an impact wrestler. He's also very good at playing on his opponent's mistakes. Tony Mamaluke can really take you on the mat and be an expert, take you all around, twist you up like a pretzel. And Mama Luke's not really known for his mistakes. A very smart competitor, that is Tony Mama Luke, the Tony Mama Luke version two, 2002. A few years ago, that'd have been another story entirely. And that best of five World Television Championship Series, so brutal, Caprice Coleman blew out his knee as well. And wait a minute, Tony Mama Luke here with a front chancery on Sexton. And once again, they're Rolling like a ball into the ring, or to the ropes here, forcing a break, break up of the hold. The tensions are getting a little high here. Not too surprising, considering both guys have the eyes on the prize, the World TV title. Todd Sexton coming off a fresh run of gold as Wild Side World Tag Team Champion. Up and over goes Sexton. But frankly, the jury is still out as Todd Sexton and Tony Stratton as single performers here at Wild. Tony Mamaluke methodically attacking that knee of Todd Sexton, dragon screw leg whip. Bending that leg around his own neck. He's got it locked in a spaghetti bender. Oh my God. That's actually what he calls that move. Well, it certainly looked like he was turning Todd Sexton's leg into a piece of pasta. Sexton's not willing to give up. Obviously, Sexton has been watching more than a few wild side tapes. Knows what Mama Luke is capable of. Mama Luke still going after that knee. And one of Todd Sexton's strongest weapons is that super kick you heard from the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. And if you take out the legs, it's very unlikely that he's going to be able to throw that super kick. Yeah, not too coincidentally, he's going after Sexton's left leg, which is the leg that Sexton uses the super kick with. Insecurity by Todd Sexton taking Tony Mamaluke over. Effectively slowing down Mamaluke a little, still not enough for that three count. Suplex by Todd Sexton. This TV title tournament is definitely one of the more successful ones in recent memory. We saw it on the last couple of episodes of NWA Wildside advancing in the World Television Title Tournament. Rain Man, the sole assassin, in a brutal matchup with Lost Boy Azrael. Look at that big standing drop kick there by Sexton. Despite the knee problems, two count. 
And in fact, the Rain Man will be uh, facing Gabriel next week here at Wildside and is the first match in the second round of the TV title tournament. Gabriel advanced by defeating Salvatore Renaro, who we're going to see in action here later in the show against the debuting Damian Dynamite. Head scissors by Todd Sexton on to Tony Mamaluke, and he's got it cinched in. Interestingly, Sexton going for concession out of Mamaluke. Mamaluke not known for conceding. He's a man that's not going to say I quit, no matter what the circumstance. Took him a close right. Sexton goes for a spinning wheel kick. Mamaluke ducks, goes for a lightning kick. Mamaluke ducks there. And there's that high angle back suplex. Can't duck, can't duck that one. No, it's sending Sexton right off top of his head. Rather strange hearing a crowd behind Tony Mamaluke. He's not quite used to all this verbal acclaim at ringside. Get used to it, Tony. You deserve it, pal. Sexton going for a German suplex there, but Mamaluke thwarted his effort by locking his weight in. There's a double underhook DDT by Tony Mamaluke and turns it right in to the Sicilian stretch, the Sicilian sleeper hold with a front chancery. But this maneuver consists of Tony Mamaluke having both legs grapevine. And Robin. he does not have him, and Sexton counters that. Turning it around, looks like he's going for a sharpshooter. But Mama Luke's not going in. I'll check that. He certainly is. A sharpshooter it has become. The Mama Luke is so dangerous, he goes to the ropes, but I don't think he realizes it. Both of these men trying a variety of submission holds on the other. Uh, I don't think that's the wisest game plan for Todd Sexton. Well, then, I really don't, because that is Tony Mamaluke's forte. Maybe he's doing it as a psych out to throw Mamaluke off his game plan, thinking that Sexton wouldn't attack his strongest point. Sexton goes for the super kick and connects despite the weak knee. And he used the right leg this time. And Tony Mamaluke kicked out. Todd Sexton, not familiar with using the right leg on the super kick, did not deliver it with all of its impact, allowing Tony Mamaluke to get a shoulder up. That too, and obviously the length of this match is taking a toll on both competitors. Sexton very slowly making his way up to that top turnbuckle. Well, that's an end for Mama Luke, who gloms him on the temple with those right forearms. Tony and Mama Luke really laying it in. Both have been on the top rope. Super prex by Mama Luke, and he rolled it through into the Sicilian sleeper. The Italian sleeper is locked on. If he gets the legs great fun, this maneuver is in. And Sexton oh, taps out. to be great fun. Sexton taps out. Tony Mamalu. Ladies and your winner, and advancing to the next round of the Wild Side Television Title Tournament, Tony Mamalu. And...